what's going on then guys, it's your boy Ben Gregson or Dilemma here and you might be confused because there's a Harpy Perfumer on the field. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a one card Harpy combo that ends on... Uh, you'll, you'll just see what it ends on alright? So we, we've got our Harpy Perfumer, we're going to activate Perfumer's effect and grab Egotist. We're going to activate the Egotist and summon Harpy Lady 1 from our deck. If anybody's played Harpy Lady, you know where this is going. Two Wing Beasts makes a Romulus. Yes, this does take Wing Beasts and Dragons. Oh my god, we're doing a Dragon Link combo now. <laughs> so we're going to grab the Phalanx from the deck, summon the Phalanx, make a Link Cross. Uh, this combo does lose to Nibiru, but it's it, it's for purely meme purposes. I don't think I'd ever play this at an event, ever. Uh, we'll turn those two into Metal March, and Metal March will bring back the Phalanx from the grave, and then you'd think we'd make Herald here, but no, we're just going to make Needle Fiber, because uh, our opponent never opens Nibiru in trading mode. Um, so we're going to summon the Needle Fiber, Needle Fiber's going to summon Mist Valley Mommy, um, and then we're going to turn those two into the Samorg Bird of Sovereignty, and we're going to then make a Guard Dragon LP, which is going to summon a World Legacy Guard Dragon, a uh, World Chalice Guard Dragon from our deck. And then we're going to turn that guy into a Pisty, and then bring back the boy. You need this to make Link Karibo, which is why we're playing this guy. You can play any level 1 dragon, but this guy's cute. Plus, uh, there's versions of this where you play Rescue Rabbit uh, to bring back normal Harpy Ladies instead of the uh, the slightly more promiscuous one. Um, so then we're going to link these two into Galaxy Satellite Dragons. Now, you know, you might be wondering, why aren't you making Buster Welp, Ben? Buster Welp's way better. Uh, pay attention to the attribute. Um, we're then going to turn this into a Link Karibu, and then we're going to link away our Satellite Dragon and our Link Karibu, which are both dark, to summon Rusty Bardish. <laughs> Rusty Bardish is going to send Cloak to set a Fog Blade, and then we're going to activate the Cloak to add Silent Boots. We're going to special summon the Silent Boots. First we're going to link away the uh, the link the token for the Link Karibu and Grave, and then we're going to summon the Silent Boots. We're going to turn these two into Union Carrier. Union Carrier is going to target our Samorg Bird of Sovereignty to equip Mist Valley Thunderbird. And then we're going to banish our boots to set a Fog Blade. So, we end on... Oh, sorry, we're resolving Samorg uh, properly without banishing it three times. So we end on Mist Valley Apex Avian and a Thunderbird. So the way this works is you use Avian to bounce this. And because it was returned... From the field to your hand, it immediately special summons itself, meaning you have infinite negates, but if the Dark Ruler no more you, which does happen occasionally, you still have two Fog Blades to save yourself, and also you have Fog Blades to protect your monsters from battle, because sometimes they might, like, summon a big guy and try and run over this, or summon a big guy and try and run over this, and... Yeah, it's it's literally a one card... You go plus six, you still have four cards in hand, you have infinite negates and two Fog Blades, um... Yeah, the the deck's okay, I guess. And obviously, you have cards like the Harpy's Feather Duster Trap card, the one that like is essentially called by the grave for everything, and Dark Ruler no more in a card if you control a Harpy, which is like insane because then you don't lose to Nibiru and you just win the game. Um, and then you have cards like Elegant Egotist, which on its own is just a stupidly good extender. Um, you have all of the Harpy monsters, which are actually surprisingly good. You have Tempest, and you're essentially playing, like, five Garnets in your deck, but we can easily make this just 60 cards, and it'd do the same thing, right? So, yeah, that's going to be it for the video, guys. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, uh, support the video as always. Uh, leave a comment saying, uh, stop playing Harpy Lady, if you, uh, really enjoyed this video. Uh... Just so I know you've watched till the end. And yeah, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Have a nice day. It's been your boy, Ben Rex and Dilemma. And peace.